Welcome back to the worm, folks. I know I said in a previous video that I was ready for another big building project, and I am. I think I listed off like four or five different things that I was considering, and now that the days are really long and the sun's overhead, I just uh, was reminded that I can't edit videos in my tent during the summer. You know, it's light from like, ooh, got a sliver, uh, from like 6 a.m. till 8 or 9 at night. And when the sun's above my tent, it just bakes in there. So yesterday I was sitting there trying to edit and couldn't do it. I had to leave the tent. And then I thought, okay, I'm going to start on a project. And I thought, you know, maybe I'll come down here and have a look at the uh, foundation for the gazebo. I'll put a link here if you guys haven't seen. I'm surprised how many people watch the uh building of this platform this is a this was just well all of this is just forest and I came in to cut down the trees in this area and I used four stumps that are kind of in a square as a foundation for this it's a log frame that I put together and then you know milled all the lumber with the chainsaw and put this together and then left it that was the middle of the summer and it was stinking hot when I was doing this last year and then you know when it gets late in the year you don't need a place to get out of the sun and the bugs and escape the summer heat so i just let this be in when i'm building other stuff but i'm not saying well i'm not saying i'm going to do this right now but then again if you're seeing this video i did it <laughs> i just brought down some uh string and some nails this is not square at all it's just set on those stumps so i'm gonna figure out how to what size i can make this the other issue is i really wanted to make this all out of logs but being out here alone and then I, I do all this stuff alone, I don't really have an easy way of getting very heavy logs up that high by myself where it's freestanding. So I may have to make some of this, some of it out of logs and some of it I'll mill, uh, mill some lumber up with the chainsaw. That's bad news that these 20, 24 inch diameter trees are dying or dead, but the good news is that's tons of building material for me. So the only hold up is that the bars for my chainsaw mill are only 13 feet long, which means I can only mill about a 11 and a half to 12 foot log. I'm hoping to get, I've got some really cool bent logs. I think it'd be cool to do each one of these corners like with a big swoop and it just looks super weird. So might do that, but I gotta figure out how I can build this all, lift this stuff by myself. And if I do use make lumber, how I can do it with 11 and a half or 12 foot lumber at the longest. So. Just kind of sighting down the square there. That's all I've got is a framing square, but that'll be close enough. So stump is centered about right there. So follow it down and square is about here. And I think the stump is there, but there's also a big fat log there. So that's right on top of, uh, right on top of there. I don't think that'd be a problem. How's it look down there? Good? All right. Looks pretty square. Well, got the four nails on actual support, so that's good. It's funny that I actually do find it more fun to not make this stuff square. <laughs> like the deer castle that I built was on a not even close to square platform and I couldn't figure out beforehand, well, I couldn't figure it out because I didn't spend any time trying to figure it out, but how it would not work or the problem that I'd have and there was no issue at all. I mean, it might not still be standing, but when it went together, the only thing was one corner. When I put the siding on, the corner was like this. So the uh, boards didn't lay quite flat on the kind of stud corner that I made out of a quarter ripped log. But I mean, I thought it was, I thought it worked great. So I'm gonna give this a think for a minute and see if I actually want to even make this square or just wing it. I might have to start this. Those of you that have watched this channel for uh, a while now know how scientific this is. Everything I do is just like, I mean, so well thought out. 
that I'm trying to figure out how long the boards would need to be. So I have to figure out what pitch the roof would be. So I basically figured that out by just drawing a triangle that looks nice <laughs> and then using a ruler and measuring it. That uses a lot of lumber. So I went down to 312. That looks kind of nice. So it'll be like this. Or is that a 412? Let's measure that again. That's two inches to every six inches. So that's a 412. So just went like, made the other side kind of look the same. It doesn't look like very much pitch. I don't know. Let's just say 412. That sounds reasonable, right? Any of you builders? <laughs> it's a little too late now. Thanks for your thoughts. That's 15 feet. So the center is about seven feet, seven and a half feet. We'll see if we can do this without any math. So let's say we do 412. There's four inches. And there's 12 inches. So there's the pitch of the roof. Seven and a half feet. Let's just do seven and a half inches. Is right there. And then we can just eyeball and make these lines parallel-ish. Looks like it'd be about like that. If we measure this side, we get two and a half inches. So that's two and a half feet. Two and a half feet. This is seven and a half feet. And then the question is, how long do these boards need to be? Eight feet. So that actually works out really well. This board that I'll need to mill a bunch of, actually we'll probably have it hang over a foot here so that this is the side. The snow and water will drip off, flop off there instead of running down the side. So that's a nine foot log, which is perfect. That's easy to work with, easy to mill. Make them like nine and a half feet each log. Mill them up, then we got lumber for that. Simple. So now I'm kind of thinking it'd be kind of cool to have steps come up here and then a little bit of a landing where a door could open. So you wouldn't be like, I don't have to build an extra landing out there just to get a door to swing open. So maybe I'm gonna bring, put a pole like here and then same on that side in a little bit like right there. And then the other poles on the corners right on top of the stumps, which is great because that means the thing won't be even close to square. I think that'll be more fun. Not worry about all that squareness crap. I always kind of thought squareness was a conspiracy. That's a PSA from Ringworm to you. Squareness is a conspiracy. Don't fall for that crap. It's the man trying to get you down. Yeah, that was like 20 minutes. That's way more thinking than I like to do for this kind of stuff. So. Check this log out. It's got a nice bend to it. I think I'm gonna to try to find three more like that and use those for the uprights. That's a good idea, right? Isn't that why you see all house, houses built like this? <laughs> With bent logs and nothing square. This is getting more fun by the minute. All right, I gotta find uh, three more bent trees. I've looked through all these trees so many times when I look for logs to saw up and 99 out of 100 aren't straight enough to use a saw log, so I know there are plenty of curved ones out here. There's a nice one. That would be awesome, and if I could get it down, that would be actually one of the trees I wanted to take down to clear up the uh, view up there of the stars. This little one here, and this guy, that's friggin perfect, and it's really straight there, so I could use it for a pole for something. <laughs> that is massively curved. Is that going to be a problem? I don't know. I think I'm going to do it. All right. Now we've got two. I think I'm going to start calling these guys uh, Louisville woodpeckers. Because it really, I swear, it sounds like somebody's taken a hardwood bat and just beating the tree. <laughs> those are old ones, too. You must have heard one of those uh, arbor beetles in there and went for them. Crazy. That one's a must. Right next to my tent in the shower, right on two trails. My only hope is that it's solid.
Sounds solid. Sounds like it'll hold up a gazebo. A lot of times you think that just because the tree's bent way to one side that it's gonna fall that way. That's not always the case. Gotta look from uh, right where it enters the ground, which side of that vertical line most of the mass is on. It does look like most of the mass is on that side. And then you don't want to make the mistake of just looking at it one way. You come to find out it's leaning really hard a different direction. Yeah, looks like it'll fall away that way. Right into the spot where I just cleaned up all the brush. And I'll have to do it again, but such is the life. It's interesting how stringy this bark is and how it behaves differently in different uh, different times of the year. That's just through the holding wood there. Look at this one little strip that held on. <laughs> it's like a six or seven foot strip, but the nice thing is it shows you how easy this will be to peel like nothing. I'm gonna leave all the bark on this and uh, see if maybe I can get this on the wagon, get it down there, and then I got another one. Actually, we might as well go over and cut the other one right now. His, the growth rings in this are really interesting when it leans that hard. Look at, there's the center of the tree. Now the huge advantage of doing this with straight poles, can't figure out what kind of bird that is. Sounds like a, anybody know what that is? It's, it's not. Pardon me for a minute, I'm gonna have to go see if I can find that bird. I don't know, some kind of brownish bird had almost uh, orange tail feathers. The whole bird is just brown and white. Kind of looked like the tail of a flicker or something, but I didn't see the spots. Anyway, you guys don't care about that. What was I saying? Oh yeah, if I'd have built this thing with uh, straight poles, they could have been a lot smaller. And I could have just picked them up and put them in place. These, I can't even move by hand, so I'm gonna have to try my weird trick to get this on the trailer. Place your bets now if it'll work. I just realized the uh, ringworm just became clickbait. Using just this one weird trick. Not the healthiest looking thing. And yeah, thank God for uh, fat ass 5000 or whatever this stuff's called. Mm. Some years ago, I used to I was kind of into marathon running and triathlons and did the Ironman about, gosh, like 12 years ago. And just now, after a year and a half of living out here doing this, I'm back to the same weight as I was when I was doing Ironman, which is kind of fantastic and also not good because it keeps heading in that same direction. And I do not need to lose any more weight. 
So if you're interested in losing a lot of weight while doing exactly what you, whatever you want to do all day, just move out to the middle of the woods and build silly stuff for no reason. It's kind of a pain to move one log this way, but it's all right. We got nowhere to be. I think this is going to work. Could have got my tools out from under there before it fell. <laughs> got an easier way. Call me a sucker. Badass 5000 didn't kick in. Struggling. It's actually a lot warmer today than it has been for about eight months. Those are good. So we got one, two, we got one right there laying. Oh, yeah, and then the third one was by the sky deck. All right. I'm going to do them. I'm going to get them all up here before I crash hard. Might need a nap today. Well, since I'm wearing all these clothes, I'm not chainsawing. Holy crap.
All right, two more. Yeah, at least that breeze is kicking up. That feels great. Ooh, this one's been sitting for a year. <laughs> it's a lot lighter. One's not quite as significant as the other. But it'll still hold up a horribly built roof. <laughs> I think. Only one way to know. Alright. One more. That one by the sky deck. Now I got one question here. Where do I park the four-wheeler? Try to get this to fall right across here. If it gets hung up in one of those trees, which it probably will, I'll need the four-wheeler back here in order to pull it backwards off the stump. If it does fall all the way to the ground, then I want it on that side just to pull the log right around the corner and back to the uh, deck there. Hmm, how much do I trust that this will fall to the ground? I'd say with a 95% uh, mm, certainty it'll get hung up, because they always do, but it's possible it could go right through there. It's not that I can't get it around to the other side, it's just that it's about a half a mile. So if I park it here, and then I have to get it to here, and the tree's laying there, it's about a half a mile around, all the way back through the woods <laughs> to come back to here. So, hmm. What the heck, I'll just make it fall to the ground. <laughs> if it was a straight tree, a vertical tree I would feel pretty confident but it goes up and then it twists sideways so trying to figure out exactly where it's gonna fall is gonna be a tough one I'm not quite good enough and experienced enough to cut bizarre trees like that and know where they're gonna go ah just do me a favor and quit talking let's get down to business I'm leaving it over here it's gonna happen All the way to the ground right through the whole I mean I'm not it sounds like bragging but it's yeah it is had to stop and restart that a couple times started to go too low and the, the bar was not long enough so I couldn't look from the front and see where the bar was it wasn't sticking out that end and it was all the way up to the stump on that side but I guess that's all right it's not uh, exactly perfect, but pretty good. Pretty good enough, as I like to say. So strange. Just after living out here all winter, I'm not in any way used to any kind of heat. When it got up to 50, it felt like, like that was a good, high temperature. I didn't need it to be any warmer than that, especially when I'm moving around. Even if I'm not working that hard, like 50 is great. Light shirt on, pair of jeans, it's fine. Now it's 75 and I feel like it's 100 degrees in Death Valley. All right, I get it. That was, that was a little bit overkill. I didn't really mean Death Valley, but you know, Mexico anyway. Southern.
Nothing will stop you dead in your tracks quite like that. <laughs> or bend the frame. It's a good thing I was going slowly. That could have been something. <laughs> Anybody know what I'm supposed to do from here? That's what I was afraid of. So I think I quickly devised a trick. I could have set these clearly if these were straight poles. It'd be pretty easy to set them in place as long as you cut the bottom flush. But with curved ones, you gotta figure out how to get the bottom and then the top of it perfectly uh, plumb with each other. So I don't want to end up with it leaned over like this and you put the weight on it and it tips one way or the other. So I found a straight edge on here. I'm using this one straight edge, squared off of it, came down, I'm gonna make these seven feet tall, so put a nail in here. That's seven feet. I measured up this side seven feet and just drew a line. So I'm thinking I can set the log like this. And as long as both ends of it are the same distance from here to here and here to here, then more or less they'll end up the right shape. So I'm going to drag them all over, lay them on both lines, and try to cut the ends vertically. I know it's probably not going to work well, but you know me. As long as it stands up for a week, I'll be totally fine. That's the only way. I mean, I could spend an hour thinking about this, but I don't want to do that, so... I'm just going to try it. What's the worst that happens? I don't know. It's probably horrible, but I'm, I'm not going to think about that either. <laughs> I have these rare moments without running the chainsaw. I might as well listen to some podcasts. Just trying out a new one today. Science and sorcery. Sounds good to me. Don't overthink it. All right, this is gonna be tricky. I guess if I screw up, I can always just shorten them all a little bit. I have to try to get it straight this way in line with the edge of the floor and the bar vertical. This is really gonna be a trick. Really a trick. close. So I'm trying to get it flush with the end of there. Keep the bar straight which is not bad because I can eyeball down it straight down it to the here and to this line and the trick is to keep the bar vertical which that square really does help. I started the cut and it was just a little bit tipped out so I backed it up and just started again. That looks fantastic. going to have its center of mass off of it, so I don't know if it'll actually stand up. Definitely going to have to be braced. 
not light. Did I mention that? gonna be awesome. I don't really know how I'm gonna put this thing together anyway. I'm gonna get the four corners, set them up, and then make some kind of a square, probably out of logs. I don't know, maybe out of lumber. I haven't thought that far ahead. Not quite as curved as the others though. I can I can replace it later. I'll have Sarah hold the top up and I'll just pull the log out. It's pretty tough. Fantastic. Oh, that's a heavy one. I promise I won't say that anymore. Never. sideways pretty fast out here. <laughs> I didn't want to peel these earlier because then they're so wet and slippery they're hard to work with and move around but now I got to go spend a few days milling up lumber for this roof so might as well peel these now I'll let them stand here and air dry ever ch have a chance to peel a log get one of these no I don't sell them but yes I did put a link in the uh, description of the video all the videos because I love this thing so much
Ooh, this is a much older one. This must be the one that's been laying around here for a while. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look how that one peels. And you got a canoe. What a deal. Oh man, had to set up a rain fly because the weather keeps changing by the minute. I get it all put up and it's uh, beautiful again. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you there. There's only so much ringworm a, shirt, a person should be uh, subjected to at a time. Small doses, you know, work your way up. Subscribe if you're interested in seeing how this thing turns out. Uh, I mean, it hasn't fallen over yet, but then there's not really anything to fall over. So, catch you on the next one. We'll see what happens.